Hey there, Seb Fry the Realtor here, and in this video, I'm going to explain why price per square foot is a meaningless number when it comes to valuing a home in the Greater Bay Area. If you want to know why price per square foot is such a useless number to look at, then you definitely want to watch this video. All right, well, before I get into all that, I first want to say thank you so much for clicking on the link to watch this video. I sure do appreciate it. And uh, would you do me one favor, though? Would you rank, mash that subscribe button right there and subscribe to my YouTube channel? I would surely appreciate it if you would. And don't forget, click that little bell to make sure that you get a notification every time I put up a brand new fun fact-filled video, something like this one. You know, it seems that in my work as a realtor, I am always talking about price per square foot. People are always asking me about price per square foot, and they oftentimes cite that as a number by which, you know, you can figure out how much a particular home is worth. And, uh, you know, I myself, I do talk a lot about price per square foot. Why? If you are a longtime viewer of my YouTube channel, uh, you probably know that I oftentimes cite price per square foot in my monthly market reports. But there's a bit of a distinction because when I use price per square foot, I'm usually using it in the aggregate, right? So I will say like, okay, well, for the month of May in Santa Clara County, you know, the price per square foot was, you know, $932 on average. And a year ago in May, it was $967 on average. And I use that as a tool to kind of show you how much the uh, price is increasing or decreasing, you know, appreciation or depreciation in the market as a whole. And sometimes I may use price per square foot, you know, as a, you know, way to say like, you know, homes in a particular neighborhood are selling for an average between, uh, you know, 900 and a thousand dollars a square foot but it's just an average and it's usually just a range but so many people take price per square foot as kind of like you know like a rule or a law or like a fact which can be used to say how much a particular house might be worth and the reason I'm thinking about this is because I had a, uh, a, a series of email correspondences with uh, with a gentleman and actually I've been corresponding with him for, geez, about seven or eight years now about how much his house is worth. And he mentioned that he had talked to another realtor, if you can believe it. I don't know why he'd be talking to any other realtor. Can't imagine it. But he was talking to another realtor. And uh, that realtor said, you know, it's hard to find any houses which are selling for less than $1,000 a square foot most homes are selling for more than $1,000 a square foot. And so uh, this uh, homeowner took that to mean that his house was worth $2.45 million at least because his house was 2,450 square feet. So uh, now uh, I can see uh, why he might think that because so many people look at price per square foot and say, well, if that house sold for a thousand dollars a square foot that means that my house must be also be worth the same amount of money on a price per square foot basis well in this particular case um actually i i pulled the three most recent sales from his little micro neighborhood his neighborhood was like sort of carved out of a larger neighborhood but it was distinctive in that the homes in his little micro neighborhood uh, were uh, a little larger than average and uh, also the neighborhood was kind of neat because it's uh, surrounded by like a green belt so it's kind of like this own little mini enclave and uh, i pulled the three most uh, recent sales from that mini enclave and again similar lot size similar age similar square footage and i think the prices range from like uh, 839 on the low end to like 963 on the high end, something like that. All of them were below $1,000 a square foot. And uh, so was this uh, other realtor lying to him when he said that, uh, you know, most homes are selling for more than $1,000 a square foot? Well, I'm not really quite sure exactly what that other realtor may have said, but it is true. It's definitely true that many, many homes are selling for more than $1,000 a square foot. But which homes are selling for more than $1,000 a square foot? Well, guess what? The homes that are selling for more than $1,000 a square foot tend to be, more than anything else, 
smaller homes and because they're smaller they tend to be older and because they're older they tend to be crappier than newer larger homes that sell for less uh, price per square foot than these smaller older crappier homes now why is that why would a older smaller and crappier home cost more per square foot than a larger newer nicer home well that's a very good question and that's because price per square foot is a useless metric for trying to figure out how much a house is worth okay i said it there's a useless metric all right and the reason why the biggest reason why is because price per square foot does not include the value of the land it just talks about the value of the building right uh and it does not in any way account for lot value which here in the uh, greater San Francisco Bay Area, the lot value is typically 50 to 65% of the total value of what you're buying when you buy a property. It's the dirt that is worth so much. Another reason why price per square foot is not very useful when evaluating uh, what a home is worth is because uh, you know the first square foot that you build costs a heck of a lot more than the last square foot that you build because it doesn't account for so many different factors, like even excluding the land cost, right? What about permitting costs or the cost for a driveway or the cost for grading or the costs for, um, you know, like the foundation itself or the uh, roof and the fact that when you're building a house, generally speaking, you only have one kitchen, not two kitchens, uh, and the kitchen is the most expensive uh, room in the house by far. And so when you just simply add square footage uh, to your project, you are not going to be having a, a linear increase in the cost. You're going to have like a decreasing uh, increase in the cost per square foot because many, many of these costs will not increase very much, uh, if at all, when you increase the uh, square footage. And as an example, let's just say that you are going to buy a house from a developer, including the lot, and it was a thousand square foot house. And you said, okay, developer, how much for this lot uh, with the house built at a thousand square feet? And he might say $500,000. Obviously, he wouldn't say that around here, but he might say that in Topeka, Kansas. I don't know. But uh, okay, so let's just use round numbers, $500,000, a thousand square foot house. And then you said, okay, uh, listen, I don't want a thousand square foot house. I want to have a 2000 square foot house. So just put a second story on that, will you? And uh, he would say, sure. And would the cost then go from $500,000 to $1 million? No, it would not. It would go, uh, you know, it would increase by, but not that much. And so it might only increase from 500 to 750 uh, thousand dollar cost. So in, in other words, uh, if you had that 1,000 square foot house at $500,000, that would be $500 a square foot. But by doubling the square footage, by adding that second story, the, the cost goes to 750, but price per square foot drops to $375. And so when you are trying to figure out how much a house is worth by price per square foot, uh, it really only uh, tends to work out if you are actually valuing identical homes, homes that have the same lot size, that are in the more or less exact same location, that were built at the same time by the same builder with the exact same finishes and have exactly the same amount of maintenance, right? So if those things are true, then in fact, it is quite likely that the price per square foot between house A and house B, which are essentially identical, although they're not exactly identical because you can never have the exact identical location. Uh, but if they you know, are basically identical, you would find that the price uh, for those two identical homes, if they really are identical, is gonna be pretty much the same. But the fact is, is that, you know, most homes as they go through life, you know, as they get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, whatever it may be, there are gonna be some changes to the property and you will find that the condition of the property, the amenities of the property uh, are going to vary considerably. And that's why even for homes which were built at the same time, same square footage, you can have a significant variance in price per square foot. Could be a 10% difference, could be a 15% difference. That wouldn't be uncommon at all. And of course, there are some other things to consider is that, you know, like one house sells uh, in uh, January and one house sells in April. And you could find that uh, there is a big difference in price there simply because of market dynamics it could be that you know the market there was less demand and more supply in january and then in in april there was uh 
you know, uh, less supply and more demand. Uh, or you could find that uh, Realtor A was not a very good realtor and took the first offer that came along. Realtor B was a strong realtor and negotiated very heavily for his client and was able to secure a much higher price for basically the same house uh, by doing uh, much better marketing and uh, pricing and negotiating. And so there's a lot of flexibility there. And, you know, the price of your house you know, it could depend greatly based on all of those factors and price per square foot isn't really one of them. That's not the thing that's going to tell you how much your house is going to sell for. So if you're trying to figure out what's my house worth, what's it going to sell for? I have a really good and easy way to find out. You just call me, call Seb Fry anytime. I'd be happy to talk to you about what your house is worth. I will need to come down and see it. I, I can't really tell you just looking at the computer screen how much your house is worth because there are so many ineffable qualities beyond the actual you know square footage, bedrooms and bathrooms and all of that. If you really want to know what your house is worth, Give me a call, happy to come down, check it out, and let you know uh, not only what I think it's worth right now today, but what I think it could be worth with certain targeted uh, further investments in your property. I don't mean further expenses in your property, by the way. I mean further investments that are going to have a return on that investment in terms of a higher sale price. When you do, go to sell. All right, well, that's all I have for this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it at least a little bit. Uh, and uh, if you have enjoyed this video, I'm guessing that you might also enjoy some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do check those out. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thanks so very much for watching, and please stay tuned.